welcome back to another video. I wanted to do a quick, um, just a quick uh, tips and tricks video here about how I buy soccer cards on ComC. I've seen a couple comments on some of my videos, uh, specifically the video where I went through Transfer Market and Trading Card Database, talking about uh, you know people, you know appreciating those videos and <clears throat> are appreciating those tips and also wanting to just understand you know how to use other platforms. And so I thought this would be a quick quick overview of just how I buy soccer cards on CompC and just a few of the tips and tricks that I use when I'm uh, looking for soccer cards. So a couple of quick things to notice. Um, this this is basically like the CompC homepage. Um, there's an available store credit right here, which is basically like my balance, like what I can use to buy and sell cards, as well as if I'm submitting cards, they would use that to process any uh, submissions. Here's like my recent sales. You can see it's actually not mostly soccer. This is probably from a few years ago where I bought cards and sent them into ComC and now they're finally starting to uh, to sell. So, so now the first tip and trick that I like to use is very simple. You basically just go up to the top bar here and you see there's a brow little browse icon. If you click there, there's a drop down, and you can just click on soccer. You don't even have to put anything in the search bar. You just put browse, and then boom, you basically have a, a listing of all all cards. Now let me move my there we go. So you can see you can sort up here by uh, it's sorted by recently added. And one of the reasons why I like to sort by recently added is that this will show you every like the most recent soccer cards to hit the site. And why that's important is that oftentimes you can find deals when people are just, maybe they're just listing something for a few bucks just to like get it out. They're not actually looking at comps, they're just listing it and submitting it. A lot of times you can find deals <clears throat> um, by focusing on some of these recently listed cards. Now they will often be uh, ultra modern cards, but um, I think that's fine. Usually they're you know some of the more recent sets that people are opening and sending in to comps to get some of their money back. Another thing I would add is over here on the left column, I like to sort by like serial numbered because I think generally it's it's easier to kind of buy and flip grade flip serial number cards. Um, you can also sort by rookie related, and again, it, it'll just basically filter the cards that are already here, um, the recently added cards. So here you can see, you know, the most recent one is an Aaron Ramsey Prism Euro from 2016 rookie card. There's some Topps Chrome, uh, Topps Finest. You know, you can see a lot of the the sets that you would expect. But you can see all of these are now serial numbered. They're all at least um, designated by ComC as like rookie cards or rookie years. I will note that on ComC, just because it says rookie card, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a player's rookie card. Um, and I'll show you another example of that in a second. But so you do have to be pretty careful. But at the very least, if you know what you're looking for, um, you can you can basically discern which are rookie cards and, and which are not. But I just want to call that out because if you're just blindly following ComC, you may um, you may end up buying something that's not actually a rookie card. Um, so in addition to sorting by different attributes, another thing I like to do, specifically I'm if I'm targeting different eras, is you scroll all the way down to the bottom and it'll show you by decade. So you can pick the 1960s, for example. And here we can see the most recent <clears throat> sticker or card added was a 67 uh, Gerhard Muller. We have, let's see, there's a George Best, um, you know, just a couple other cards. So this is a Pele. This is a way to basically sort by era. And so you can see these are the most recently added cards from the 60s, for example. So again, just helps you see, um, you know, newer cards, uh, potential deals. <clears throat> I think the idea is that if a card has been sitting on ComC for months or a year, it's, it's at least somewhat likely that somebody's already looked at that. And if it was truly a really good deal, um, you know, they may have uh, snagged it already. So that's why I kind of like to focus on more of the, the recent cards. Um, the next thing that I like to do is if you want to search for a specific player. So let's say I'm searching for Ronaldinho. And right now it's sorted by recently added. However, uh, which is, again, useful for searching for a specific player. However, another thing I like to do with specific players is let's say I'm looking for an early issue of Ronaldinho where I want to see like okay I want like a an early insert or something like that you can see here there's the L crack uh, that we've highlighted in a, a grading video for Grail Quest before and this is a way to see like okay what are some of the earlier releases that are available on ComC right and 
one thing that you'll see here is if I click on this one, so just this is for example, you can see up here they're calling this his rookie card and this is not his rookie card or it's not, I mean his true rookie is a sticker from I believe 1999. And so this is where you can kind of get into trouble where it's one of his earlier card releases but it's not a rookie. There's no rookie logo, it's not recognized by the market as his like true rookie card. Um, so just again just to be aware of that you know blindly following some of these um, especially the older cards or cards where a player has like an earlier sticker could be um, could be kind of dangerous um, so let's so so here if I scroll down here right I can see a bunch of different Ronaldinho you know, cards let's click on this one right here the, the 2004 mega cracks because I want to show something else so one thing I like to do is you see how this number here is green. That means there's some sort of discount being applied to this card, some sort of sale happening. So I like to find cards where somebody is running a, a sale and, and see if there are any deals. So here you can see, now I don't know the exact comp on this right now, but just looking at the three available for sale on Comp C, um, this is the, the 20, 2004 Mega Cracks Barca uh, Campione. There's one for sale for $16, around $16, and then there's another one for almost $50 and another one for almost $60. Now, just looking at this, if the if the comps here are closer to $40, this is a huge deal, right? Um, whereas these are maybe more in line with comps, or vice versa, maybe this one is closer to comps and these are a bit out of price range. Likely what is happening here is if you look at this, yeah, so you can see there's like a little corner where down there... Um, and then if you look at these, yeah, see this looks to be a bit cleaner. So maybe that could be part of it. It's just different um, condition. However, you'll notice this is a different seller. This is Vintage Vinny versus Vintage VT. So one thing I like to do when I find cards like this that are on quote unquote on sale is I like to click on the seller to see what other cards do they have on sale. And you can see uh, right up here, there's a 39% off SRP deal going on. So if we scroll down, and let's filter by soccer, just because that's what we're searching for right now. So if we filter by soccer, now we can see, uh, and let's filter by recently added. Okay, okay. So now we can see these are all the cards that this user has recently listed, and they're all you know on some sort of sale. So that we see a Christian Pulisic, there's a Giovanni Reina living set. And what I like to do here is literally go through all of the, there's the Ronaldinho that we, um, that we just saw. I like to literally go through all these people's cards that they're selling and just see if I can find deals. Um, with one of the Grail Quest mail days that I did, that's how I found a lot of the cards I found, is I found one card that was heavily marked down and I just searched that user's um, listings for some other similar cards uh, that I thought would be good grading candidates. Because what this does is this allows you to find cards that are have a low cost, which means they have a high higher floor, assuming they're in decent condition. Um, so you could buy a low cost card and grade it. And even if it doesn't get a great grade, well, you didn't pay that much for it. And that's kind of what I like to target on comp C. The one caveat being that let's just click on this Pulisic, for example. So this is like an $8 card. It really does pay to, to, you know, zoom in and look at like, okay, look at the centering, you know, making sure that, okay, yeah, it looks a little off center left to right. Okay. That's fine. Making sure there's no like obvious dings or edge wear. It looks like a little edge wear there. So see, this is like, you really do have to do your due diligence. You can't just blindly purchase some of them. But if you're willing to kind of grind, you can find really good deals, especially on some of the older, you know, like the, like the Ronaldinho type cards, like the older, like Mega Cracks, Moody Chromo sets. Um, a lot of times people are just trying to get those listed so they can sell and get some money back and turn it around. Um, and so I think it's, I think Com C is good for helping us find those types of people. Um, the last thing I'll say about Comp C before I wrap this up is that, and this is just frankly speaking from my own experience, is that Comp C is often a place where people will send cards for two reasons. One, they might be sending cards, let's say they opened a few boxes of Topps Chrome, and maybe they're grading like the Mbappes and the, the Messies or you know some of the hits, and then everything else they just want to get their money back. So they're not even looking at them, they're just, they're brand new cards, they're just trying to recoup some money. That's one. Another example is people may have purchased a bunch of singles off of eBay or off of some other website and decided they weren't grade worthy and now they're sending them to Com C just to, again, recoup some money. 
So oftentimes you will find cards on Com C that are not necessarily like like you have to really do your diligence because a lot of people are sending cards there that are probably not grading candidates. That being said, um, you know we recently found. Let me just go back to Ronaldinho. I recently found a the Ronaldinho L crack on Com C. I basically was on this exact same page looking at these cards, looking at the centering, looking at the corners the best I could and found one that I thought looked good. I graded it with SGC. It got a 9.5, which is one of two 9.5s ever, and there's no 10s. And there's currently a pending sale for it on PWCC for like over $300. So you definitely can find gems and or you know diamonds in the rough, so to speak, but you do have to do your due diligence. You, have to, you just have to be patient. Um, so that's where I'll leave it for there. I think just as a recap, Utilizing the just the general soccer search and looking at recently added cards is one one sort of method. Filtering by serial number or rookie cards or specific years, and then you can also in the search bar search for a specific set, um, search for a specific player, and either look at the oldest uh, releases or look at the newest added if you're trying to just you know again trying to see potential deals and then finally once you do find deals looking at those sellers other listings to see if there's other similar cards that you'd be interested in that you can find at a good price so that's how I use ComC for the most part to buy you know any soccer cards I do buy on the platform would love to hear your thoughts on if this was helpful um, do you use ComC in any other ways that I maybe didn't mention um, and then feel free to to give this video a like if you found it useful and comment um, and yeah subscribe so you don't miss any more of these in the future all right thanks for tuning in i'll talk to you guys next time bye